as we go further along, opposite the tomatoes, we find we're growing zucchinis. Now, personally, I don't grow zucchinis anymore because they just take up too much room. But these are going gangbusters. And have a look at the fruit. He's picking fruit all the time from them. Have a look at these ones here. Beautiful, already set. Now, zucchinis, my wife, she won't eat them unless they're small ones. She loves them when they're small. If they get too big, no flavor, she reckons. But look at these ones, almost ready. My wife would come along and say, oh, tomorrow I'll have a beautiful zucchini right there. So you can see he's been cutting leaves and stuff off here. He's been harvesting off this for some weeks now. And just as an example, here is a male flower. You can see that, the male flower. This one's almost finished, but that's okay. That's what they look like, a male flower. And if you're gonna hand pollinate, you've gotta get this stuff out of the middle. See, this is the stuff that you put on the female flower. And you can hand pollinate really easily several female ones and you'll make sure you get a good crop that way. And we've got some female ones here that are coming on. Look, this is going to be a yellow zucchini. Can you see that one with the camera? This one here is going to be a yellow zucchini. We can see the, the balance of the female flower there. And let's just do a crude pollination so you can see the difference. I'll just pull this flower apart. You can see, the, see what the female flower looks like? Mm -hmm. Now I'll get a bit out of this male flower. You can see what this fellow looks like. See the difference? Now I'll get a bit of the pollen from here. See there's plenty of pollen. And now what I'll just do is just wipe it on here. And that's job done. Can you see that? Job done. Yeah, now what I just want to show you while we're on zucchinis, here's a good example of one that was failed to be pollinated. And this is what happens, the fruit will get to a certain point and then it just dies because it's got no pollination happening. So these ones here, if this was my place, I'll just break that off out of the way, sorry, so we can see what we're doing. These ones here, if it was my place, I'd be making sure they're pollinated right now by hand so I don't lose the fruit. There you go, there's a good example of what it looks like when they haven't been pollinated. There are plenty of, plenty of male flowers here. See them all, male flowers everywhere. But it's the female flowers we're looking for. Here's one coming along, see? This is a little bit of fruit coming here on a female one. When that flower opens, you want to make sure it gets pollinated. It's, it's not hard to do by hand. It really isn't. It's really very rewarding to make sure you get a good crop by doing that. <laughs>